So are you one of the 20%? You know, numbers are about 20% of individuals who have a total knee replacement are never happy after their knee replacement surgery, whether it be because they have the same level of pain as before surgery or more pain after surgery. Uh, clinical research suggests 20% just are not happy with the outcome of their total knee replacement. So the question I want to address today in this video is, are you one of the 20%? And if so, what could be some of the contributing factors causing to the pain that you're experiencing? And this video is gonna be specifically about pain. I wanna distinguish the difference between pain and function because a lot of individuals um, will have a total knee replacement to resolve a pain issue while the knee itself was fully functional before surgery. The difference between a dysfunctional knee and a functional knee, for example, a dysfunctional knee might be loose or unstable. It might be the kind of knee that when you take a step, the bones move in an awkward way and the knee buckles. Um, there's mechanical instability. There's instability due to other factors that are going on like neurological control of the knee but in this video we're going to specifically talk about pain so the normal recovery period I think most people would agree with is the first six weeks you're in that acute phase of healing the incision is healing all of the soft tissue stuff is coming together then you're going to about 12 weeks where now you're getting back to your daily routine you're getting you're building up your stamina your energy your endurance your range of motion Finally, if you really want, you know, somewhere around that half a year mark, the six month mark, um, you should be pretty well back to where you are and improved from where you were at the time of surgery. Some people will take up to a year, but between six months and a year, most knee replacements are expecting to be pain free, either by the surgeon or by the patient. And so if you're one of the individuals who is continuing to have pain beyond the six month mark, beyond the 12 month mark, I think there are some things that we need to look at and try to investigate. And this is where I would recommend not just getting back to your existing physician. My guess is most of the time, at least in my experience, the knee is mechanically sound. The surgeon has imaged the knee for somebody who continues to have pain and limitation. They see that the implant is intact, that the bone is healing well, that everything looks normal on imaging. And I know that can be super frustrating for you, the patient, because you know that things aren't where you wanted them to be, where you expected them to be, yet the pictures are saying they are. But remember, the pictures can only show us so much. The pictures can only show us the bone, the implant. Um, it can't really, it can't show us what you're feeling. And we know that pain is an experience. It's always real, regardless of whether there are signs of mechanical damage or not. I can see when somebody is in pain. I can, I can hear it in their voice. I can see it on their face. Their, their respiration is, is sometimes labored. Their blood pressure might go up. There are physical manifestations of pain. So the first thing for us to understand is pain is not always easily measured outside the body. Uh, the best example I can give you is if I take a bite of a hot spicy pepper, my lips feel like they're on fire. My normal body temperature rises, my, I start to sweat, my nose starts to run, my eyes start to water. That You do see the physical manifestation of the sensation I'm getting on my lips, but if you took the temperature of the skin of my lips, it really wouldn't be abnormally high. Meanwhile, I feel like my lips are at 220 degrees Fahrenheit. The temperature of the actual skin is normal. The pain that I'm experiencing is coming from my body's reaction, my brain's reaction to the capsaicin from the chemical in the pepper. So the same similar situation with your knee replacement, what could be driving the pain might not be showing up on the imaging. So we have to look deeper and this is where a great physical therapist might come in to help or any other professional who really has the time and the resources to sit and listen to the full story. So remember, when you've had a knee replaced, 
There's connective tissue, soft tissue, there's tendons and ligaments, there's blood vessels, lymphatic vessels, there's the skin, there's the so, so many components that surround the actual replacement itself that were involved with this traumatic surgery that were cut and sliced and pulled apart and retracted and had compromised blood flow for however long the surgery took and then everything was sewn back together and now you're doing far more activity meant much of the time than you were doing prior to your knee replacement. We're putting all new forces through these tissues that your body had gotten used to over the lifespan. Now everything is completely different. So it makes total sense. In fact, I am shocked as a physical therapist that so many people do as well as they do. When I think of the trauma of the actual surgery itself and having the repair done. But that being said, a couple things that I would ask you to look into or look at. If you still have swelling, if you have residual swelling, redness, warmth, that would be suggestive that there is some sort of inflammatory process that's still going on. The body is still continuing to try and heal the area. Um, certainly there could be compromises to the lymphatic system. The lymphatic system is what takes the fluid and the waste products out of the area, brings it back into the system to be processed by the kidneys. So perhaps seeing a lymphedema specialist, which may be an OT or a PT to assess if there's anything that they can do from an edema perspective would be a great option. Talking to a skilled orthopedic physical therapist who could look at you mechanically and determine if do you have any tendonitis, tendinosis, what's going on with the connective tissue around the knee, the ankle, the hip. It's possible that these are things that could be treated to either reduce the acute inflammation or in the case of a tendinosis, maybe there is no acute inflammation, but there is tissue and cellular changes that need to be addressed with the right kind of exercise program. Certainly there's other components, maybe a neurologist, maybe there's something going on with the nerve endings that were cut, severed, and then put back together. Depending on how they handle that part of the equation, you might look at altering medication. Certainly if you are a type 2 diabetic, which is quite common these days, maybe there's something going on that could be changed within that or even some sort of a neuropathy issue. And then of course we look at what's going on at the low back, what's going on at the hip. These could be contributing factors to the way the knee is recovering and then the sensations you're feeling around the knee. So my point in sharing all of this, while I may not have a specific answer because you have a very specific case and condition, what I want you to know is that you don't have to be satisfied with where you are. You can always push to improve and get better and try to achieve new goals. The idea is what you need is somebody in your corner who has experience with the condition you're dealing with, who has experience working and navigating within the healthcare system, regardless of the country you're in, who is gonna be your support system. My role as a physical therapist beyond simply teaching new exercises is really to make sure my patient is getting access to all the services that are required. You know, I have been known to bring telehealth providers into my clinic for services that I cannot deliver specifically lymphedema and pain management. So if you are stuck, if you're frustrated, if you're not getting answers to the questions that you have, only you know your body and only you know what you're experiencing find somebody in the healthcare system who's willing to take the time to sit, talk, listen, and more importantly, be your advocate so that you get answers to the questions you have. Because simply saying the x-ray looks normal, your knee is fine, obviously is not getting you closer to the outcome that you had intended. So guys, I hope this video was helpful. Please share your comments down below and I'll catch you on the next version of this video. Thanks so much for watching.